Hello world welcome to JMC Car Builds. In this video I'll walk you through the making of the roof trim or roof liner for the Hyperion Wagoneer Solar Hybrid SUV. As always, we start with the creation of a 3D model. For this design, I extract surfaces from the original 3D data to create the roof liner. The roof liner model is completed and checked for interference with other parts prior to conversion to a tool block. The CNC milling simulation is done to generate G-codes for the different cutters that I intend to use. G-codes generated are loaded into the machine. CNC milling starts with a 12mm ball mill to rough cut the fully recyclable wax block. Since the part is almost the size of the bed, this operation took considerable time to finish. While the machine works, let's go for a spin. The Hyperion Wagoneer is really a joy to drive. Its meaty engine can put some serious torque for an exciting drive. Ah! The roughing is complete, it is time for a tool change and a finer cut. For this, I am going to use a 6mm ball cutter with loads of coolant to mill. This operation is going to be a long one considering the sheer dimensions of the part. So we will run about in the Hyperion while it gets done. Now that the finished mill is done, the mold is prepared for fiberglass layup. Fiberglass gel coat followed by a layer of surface mat and a single layer of 350 cross strand mat is sufficient to make a light part. While the part dries and hardens, we shall spend some time to cut carpeting material to the required shapes to upholster the interior walls. The roof liner has hardened and it is time to release it for further processing. The part is carefully released since it is not very thick. A slight error in judgment could damage the large part. Rolling the Hyperion is pure joy. The roof liner has been cleaned and trial fit on the Hyperion. To our great joy, the fit was extremely beautiful, the two meter part snugly fit in its space. The art part has been coated with plastic adhesion promoter followed by a coat of epoxy primer before spraying the color coat. I am using a bluish white to increase the visual volume inside the car. Painting is done and let to dry overnight while the part is waiting for fitment we shall chalk up some more miles on the Wagoneer. Wow! The finished roof trim is finally in its place. The wiring harness has also been routed and the lighting is also alive. The car is now looking very posh with the woody interior hidden. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel.